Hey guys, I'm back with another Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, this time is about uh, displacement maps and uh, displacement noises and uh, it's a really cool tutorial for you to learn some things on Cinema 4D so I um, hope you enjoy it and I uh, hope you follow along the tutorial so let's get on to it. Uh, okay, uh, like always I, I leave you um, like um, a link description with a, with a file download for you to, to follow along my tutorial and um, to get easy with it. So um, I'm going to also leave you the displacement noise that, um, that I put on my image uh, for you to play a little bit. And um, But I'm going to, to teach you how to make this from start. So um, let's get started. So, okay, uh, first of all, let's hide our sphere and let's uh, insert another sphere in there. Uh, okay. Um, first of all, let's make a let's put this more. How can I say high res? Let's uh, bump up a, a little bit uh, the segments, like for 45. 45 is good. Uh, you can also increase a lot more, but um, this will drag a little bit your computer. I'm working on a high seven, and um, this also slows down a little bit. But but it's possible to work with this. So um, once you have our sphere. One thing uh, you can do, like for first, you have to edit your object. Uh, so, but because otherwise uh, the noise won't, won't and the displacement map uh, won't bump the, the sphere. So, uh, it, uh, press your, your sphere, hit C. Uh, we have our sphere editable, and um, and for start, um, displacement noises is made by a material. So the material is going to glue on your on your editable object um, and it's going to work so um, you have to choose a color that you want uh, I think I'm going to choose like a yellow one for, for this tutorial could be cool uh, the reflection I'm not going to work with reflection here because I don't want to increase the, um, the recording settings and the, the renders for the machine I want to, to this tutorial be fluid and fast so um, for you to not lose a lot of time on this so uh, I'm going to Focus only on the um, on the objective things, and the the first thing you you have to do is going to hide the bump. You're going to put it on, and you're going to the texture, and you're going to put a noise on it, and um, you already you, you already can start um, see some uh, how can I say see some changes on the um, on the sphere. Uh, if you make a, like a quick render, you see that uh, your sphere is already got noise. But um, this is only like a, how can I say this is a like a projection noise. Uh, uh, it really is not on on, on the sphere. So uh, this is for start, and then you you can uh, copy your texture on the on the bump noise, and then go to the displacement, and you're going to paste um, your your texture there. You see that uh, or the displacement is already working, and uh, now we don't need uh, the bump channel. So. We can turn off our bump channel, and the displacement uh, now is much more detailed. So, uh, in order for us to, to replicate uh, this sphere, uh, I'm going to just increase this a little bit, put the strength a little bit lower, and uh, and, um, and this is very important. This is sub polygon displacement and round geometry will uh, will get you like um, a better resolution of your of your object. So. Um, you have to you have to put this on hold, and then the, you can increase the, the subdivision level. But all this is going to increase the, the render time. So be careful with this, and um, go make some tests until until you have like the the nice render time for an animation for this. Because uh, if this is uh, bad calculated, you can spend a lot of times waiting for nothing. So um, on the noise, I'm going to change uh, the noise for. Uh, how can I say? I'm going to use uh, FBM uh, for this noise because the noise that I used. But I'm going to bump up a little bit the, the global scale, like about 350 should be cool. And uh, I'll also increase this a little bit because it's better. I worked that uh, that way on, on the other noise displacement, so um, this is how it should work. So. Um, Everything is settled together, so uh, now we can. Uh, in this part, you can lower or you can higher your bumps. So, um, uh, higher bumps increase uh, higher renders, and lower bumps uh, make a lower render. So, uh, if you make um, a test render now, you see that uh, you already got the displacement and the noise is gone. So, um, yeah, this is the this is a tutorial for the displacement noise. Uh, this is, has like a billion possibility, possibilities for you to, to test. So um, 
this is one noise I think we have like about uh, 30 noises or, or whatever I don't know um, I also have um, how can I say I have a, a big file with uh, two sets of displacement uh, all done um, but the, they are selling on a uh, I can say 3d ocean uh, I will link you there for you for you to check out and here we have uh, we have our displacement noise already working and now we can test like about I don't know a lot of them so um, this all depends on the how can I say the noise the noise shader and um, and how can I say also sorry uh, and also the height of your displacement and uh, and the strength of it so if you play a lot with this you, you see that you will find like uh, really cool textures or, or noises to, to work out to, for your for your images or for your animations or for whatever you want on Cinema 4D because Cinema 4D is, a, is too uh, is too powerful for you to to test uh, a lot of things so uh, I, I thought that this was a really cool tutorial for you guys to learn and um, hope you enjoyed to, to follow it so um, make your textures make your noise bumps uh, noise bumps sorry and um, put a link a video to me so I can see what you what you've been doing on, on my tutorials and um, hope you enjoy this so uh, this is the tutorial for the displacement maps and um, go for it uh, make your thing uh, send me them to, to link the description and um, I will make a comment so uh, Cheers, guys. Bye.